Hello once again dear viewers you're watching Every TV happy good friday and welcome to our news broadcast here are the headlines efforts to control non communicable diseases commendable health service provisions Latest leak suggests U.S. spying on U.S. chief Guterres over Russia. Qatar and Bahrain to resume talks and years-long dispute. Mr. Yunus Takei, head of uh, Non-Communicable Diseases Control, reports that the Tessani Hospital is earnestly working to control the prevalence of non-communicable diseases, indicating that the hospital exerts its uh, in the follow-up and treatment of diseases including diabetes, blood pressure and heart cases. Mr. Yunus called on the public to visit the hospital at least every six months for a general checkup indicating that increase in weight, lack of exercise and nutritious food, excess alcohol and others are the cause for the prevalence of non-communicable diseases. Mr. Yunus called on the public to follow the medical advice provided by health professionals. Mr. Yunus also said that the modern medical equipment put in place at the hospital are significantly contributing in the provision of commendable health service to the public. Residents of Shabba administrative area Ginda subzone said that they are receiving commendable health service from the health station in their area, indicating that as a result of sustainable awareness raising activity coupled with the advice they received from the health professionals, their understanding on health issues is growing. The residents said that the number of pregnant women visiting the health station for antenatal checkup is increasing and as a result, mother and child mortality rate has decreased significantly. Assistant Nurse Mohammed Ali Idris, head of the health station, said that in 2022, the number of pregnant women delivering at the health station has increased by 3% compared to that of 2021 and postnatal treatment by 2%. Assistant Nurse Mohammed Ali went on to say that cervical cancer vaccination program for girls from 9 to 14 years of age has been successful by 99%. Shabba Health Station generates its power by solar system and provides health service to the residents of the administrative areas of Medical Abiyat, Asus, Shabba and Gergar. The Eritrean Police Force organized training program on documentation to 22 of its staff members selected from uh, police stations across the country. According to the Police uh, Relations Office uh, of the Public Relations Office rather of the Eritrean Police Force, the training that was organized at the Dekamhara Law Enforcement Unit and Security Training Center included bookkeeping and archiving ethics, law and public relations. At the conclusion event of the training on 13 April, Major Andam Mahari, head of educational policy, said that the training program will have significant contribution in the daily activities of the police force. Major Andam also called on the trainees to apply the training they have acquired in the improvement of the work conditions of the office with a view to provide timely and efficient service to the public. The trainees were handed over certificates by Lieutenant Colonel Haile Berhe, Head of Administration and Finance at the Eritrean Police Force. That was our domestic news. Please stay tuned now for the international news right after a short break. Leaked Pentagon files indicate the United States was monitoring United Nations Chief Antonio Guterres because it believed he was too soft on Russia 
after its invasion of Ukraine. The documents appear to reveal private communications between Guterres and his deputy that focused on a Black Sea grain export deal, which, according to the leaked papers, the UN Secretary General was eager to preserve and willing to accommodate Russian interests to make happen. Ukraine and Russia signed the export deal in July. They committed to allowing the export of grain, fertilizer and other farm goods across the Black Sea while they are at war. Guterres and Turkish President Tayyip Erdogan mediated the talks which they said could help ease a global food crisis. During discussions in February, Guterres was undermining broader efforts to hold Moscow accountable for its actions in Ukraine. The leaked document alleged the grain deal must be periodically reviewed and on Wednesday Russia warned that the prospects for extending the grain deal beyond May 18 were not promising because of obstacles Moscow faces over its own exports. Qatar and Bahrain are resolving year-old dispute and restoring diplomatic ties. Delegates from the two countries met on Wednesday at the headquarters of the Gulf Cooperation Council, the GCC, General Secretariat in the Saudi capital, Riyadh. The country's foreign ministry said in separate statements, both sides met to enhance the Gulf uh, unity and integration according to the GCC charter. Qatar's foreign ministry said in its statement, Qatar's Ministry of Foreign Affairs Secretary General Ahmed bin Hassan Al Hamdi met with Bahraini's Ministry of Foreign Affairs Under Secretary for Political Affairs Sheikh Abdullah bin Ahmed Al Khalifa to discuss resolving a feud that dates back to 2017. That year, Bahrain, along with Saudi Arabia, the United Arab Emirates and Egypt, imposed a diplomatic blockade on Qatar over claims it was too close to Iran and backed hardline groups, alleging Doha has always denied. The uh, four Arab countries had banned Qatari planes and ships from using their airspace and waters and cut trade links. In 2021, however, Saudi Arabia, the United Arab Emirates and Egypt resumed these ties, although the UAE and Qatar have yet to open their respective embassies. The restoration of ties comes amid a number of other efforts to resolve regional disputes, including between Iran and Saudi Arabia. That was our news. Please stay tuned now for a recap of tonight's headlines. Efforts to control non-communicable diseases. Commendable health service provision. Latest leak suggests U.S. spying on U.N. Chief Guterres over Russia. Qatar and Bahrain to restore ties and years-long dispute. And that was Arnold's fortunate, dear viewers. Have a good, happy, good Friday.